crazy. You see, you guys see what I have to put up with? Someone should really come and save me. Holy zippy dog, save me and the dog. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing an experiment with the Meguiar's Headlight Restoration Kit. And as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, we're gonna be doing that burst Colgate triple action. And we are going to restore probably, let's see, we're gonna use Meguiar's on this side. And then we're gonna use the toothpaste on this side. And we're going to see which one makes it look better. And also, um, if you guys want an update, you know, like three, four months from now, see which one lasts longer, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like this video, comment down below. If, uh, comment down below right now. Like, don't even pause the video. Wait, wait, wait. No, don't pause the video. Just comment down below which one you think will do better. You think the Meguiar's will do better or the toothpaste? I'm thinking the Meguiar's, but I've never used a headlight restoration kit. I've always just used toothpaste and a toothbrush. Uh, my cousin, my cousin Brandon taught me that a long, long, long time ago, and it's worked great, but as you can see, they're oxidized again, and uh, I wanna start restoring these headlights, get them looking really nice, and eventually we're gonna take them apart and we're gonna paint the inside black. Um, maybe we might do that or we might just do some headlight tint but I don't know which one I want to do first I'm thinking I'm thinking take them apart and paint the chrome black I think that'll look awesome and then put some halo lights in it uh, so as you guys can see you know we uh, we're slowly getting this car back together and um, pretty much yeah we're trying to build this car up and it's gonna you know break out of time until we get there but let's go ahead and get to this uh, video guys I don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer I'm excited to see which one will do better. I'm also excited to have my headlights back. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get to it, guys. All right, guys, the first thing we need to do is clean the headlights up and then we'll get to open in the Meguiar's box. We're gonna start with that and then we'll finish with the toothpaste and uh, let's go from there. Thank you guys for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. And uh, by the way, guys, I missed the last in-between video sorry about that uh, super busy week but i will make it up to you guys by the way we are now over 40 subscribers we are at 42 um i was super shocked because it was like five days in to june and we already hit our goal so that really pumped me up and made me feel good thank you guys so much uh for your support and uh let's keep growing guys let's 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 go even higher you know I, I'm super excited, so let's let's quit let's quit talking about me. Let's talk about that. Gonna use the Meguiar's quick detailer just to wipe down the headlights real fast, and uh, then we get started. Alright guys, time to get to it. Go ahead and open the box. Uh, first, let's read the back. It says directions. Um, for best... Alright guys, enough reading directions. It almost came up and just like doing that. Alright, so looks like it comes with a little scrubby pad. I'm assuming that's what you use to spread the product on with. Comes with two of those. Comes with headlight coating, which I imagine is um, pretty much probably just a clear coat spray, honestly. Maintains clarity and restored on restored headlights. Provides durable UV protection. Protects new headlights too. Hmm. I wonder if we should spray this over the toothpaste after we're done with it. 
we'll see. If the toothpaste doesn't do a really good job, like as good as this, I want them to at least look somewhat similar, you know? So if it doesn't do a good job, then I probably will just redo the other side with this after, you know, we're done. After we test it, you know, we're gonna test it. But. And then it comes with this as well. <clears throat> Cleaning solution. Use by hand or with VA power system. Quickly removes crop oxidization. Oxidation, oxidization, <laughs> oxidation, guys. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get a close up. Uh, that way we can do it before and after. So you can see that's pretty yellow, pretty hazy. These lights clean up really nice. So I'm really excited to get this done. So that's before. This is the right side. This is the side we're going to use this on first. And then it's the left side. This is the side we're going to use the toothpaste on. So it's just a quarter size amount, and that's about the size of a quarter. wipe it off and we'll see what it looks like. guys that turned out really good looking I don't know if toothpaste will beat that I think what I want to do is because I can still see a little bit of yellow tint to it I don't know if you can see it on camera or not I'm gonna go ahead and put a second coat on it and uh, see if I can get it even cleaner than that but I'm really impressed I mean look at that look at that one and then look at this one you guys can see the difference man this car's gonna look totally different with clean headlights. So, yeah, let's get back to it. Dry up, and we'll go ahead and get started on the toothpaste.
that clear coat guys it's amazing and that's just the first coat if the toothpaste doesn't turn out that good then I I don't know all right guys gonna go ahead and wipe this off now can you believe that look how that looks freaking looks like a brand new headlight and that's just the first coat guys first coat so we're gonna spray this over the tooth uh, the toothpaste as well and see what happens but if it doesn't turn out this good then toothpaste fails McGuire's for the win <laughs> okay but let's not get ahead of ourselves let's see I bet the toothpaste does a good job Right, guys so far about the same as the other headlight um, anything I don't see any yellow tint in this one at all this one's got some scratches in it but uh. so now we're gonna let this dry for a minute we're gonna go ahead and spray the other side and then we will Yeah. After that, we will spray this one with the clear coat stuff and see if it does the same thing. So, go ahead and put you guys back up here. <clears throat> All right, time for the second coat on the driver's side headlight. Let's see how it turns out. I don't think it can get much better than that though, guys. this head up headlight this thing looks amazing it's not even dry yet all right let's see start here I don't think, I don't think it's working as good, guys. It's hard to tell, though. But, um, yeah, I mean, it still looks amazing. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's not as good because look at that hmm you can still get the same shiny look but I don't know if you can fully do it with the toothpaste in order to make it look as good as if you would have just used the actual uh, buffing stuff that you get with the kit Hmm. Oh yeah, I can see a big difference. I don't know if you guys are seeing that on camera like I am, but... 
pretty obvious to me that with the kit, you're going to get a lot better uh, result. But the toothpaste works pretty well, as well as long as you have the clear coat spray. But uh, I think the kit is definitely better. Oh, yeah. The kit looks better. Yeah. It's crazy, though. Should I... Should I go ahead and redo that one then? Probably, yeah. All right. This came a lot more cleaner than expected. Yeah. Well, guys, looks like look. Well, guys, it looks like it's gonna be McGuire's to the win. So we're gonna go ahead and put the polish on that side, and uh, I think I can do that. I don't know. I should probably try to wipe it up before it dries. That clear coat, and then I will uh, go ahead and put the polish on with McGuire's, and then uh, spray it with the clear. And then we'll go from there, guys. So just go ahead and stay tuned. All right, guys. I hope you're enjoying the video. Uh, the car's looking excellent right now. Gonna let that dry up. And then go ahead and spray the clear on that. And then I will be back with you guys. So um, if you're wanting to go cheap, toothpaste will definitely work with the clear coat. To be fair, you know, it's uh, the McGuire's pad comes. It's like a scrubby pad, you know. And then um, also... I only did one coat of the toothpaste because the toothpaste takes a little bit longer to put on. So I, I didn't want to redo it again just for it to not work again. So I, that's why I just decided, you know, we'll just go ahead and go with the Meguiar's and uh, Meguiar's for the win on this one. So, but yeah, guys, let's go ahead and uh, finish this up and uh, I'll end the video. That looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. See the difference, guys? complete difference from the, what the toothpaste was and that's just the first coat they look almost identical now this one's a little bit better but it has two coats of uh, the clear coat on it so man that looks really good though I can't wait to see what these look like at night now I know they were kind of not as bright as they used to be but this thing is gonna look killer once I put halos on it can't wait I wonder what would happen if I pff, put a spider on me. I wonder what would happen if I actually sprayed this on the body. Hmm. Let's do an incon inconspicuous spot right here. I know, right there. Ready? One, two, three, go. All right. We will check back later and see what it does. I only did this, guys, because this bumper is, you know, it needs, we, we're going to get a new bumper eventually anyways, but, yep, I'm making these videos because this is the start of getting this car back to its former glory. Really hope you guys are enjoying the video. Um, sorry if I'm not as excited and hooray. Uh, I usually don't record videos after work. Not very often anyways. So... I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning, you know, working out, go to work, get off work, and uh, it took like a 30 minute break. I watched some Cletus McFarland on YouTube. Awesome, awesome channel, guys. If you guys are into cars and drag racing and drifting and uh, street racing and Corvettes and Chevys and Fords, and if you guys are into that kind of stuff, then definitely go check out Cletus McFarland. And um, tell him Common Ground Automotive sent you. He doesn't know who the heck I am, but just tell him that. Try to get everybody to tell him that, and then he'll be like, oh, hey, man, thanks. You know what? Here's a million subs for you, million subs for you. <laughs> this game, guys. Uh, yeah. 
someday I hope to make really good content, but it's stepping stones and uh, trying to learn how to do it with the work and try to put out enough content, you know, with the work, you know, this is, it, it's fun, but making videos and editing and stuff can be like work itself, so it can be a bit draining, but I'm not complaining. Oh, your boy got rhymes all day in my mind. I'm bored. I'm just waiting for this headlight to dry. See, there was another rhyme. That's all I got. That's all I got, guys. I know it was hot. It was good. Yeah, I used to, used to write music a lot. And then I don't know what happened. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, you can't see it. See, that's, I, I really want a camera that can pick up what I see with my eyes. But yeah. I think we're getting pretty close to ready. Oh, no, it's still wet. Let's see. I think it's still wet. Oh yeah, it's still wet. We're gonna give it just a minute and then we're gonna spray it again and then we'll be done. And uh, that's that. I may do it to the Tahoe as well. I mean, the Tahoe's headlights look pretty good though. So, but the running lights are, you can see that they're kind of oxidized. Like this sexy car, yeah. See, you can see they're kind of oxidized and then I also wanna try it. Also, I'm going to try it here because I think that will really help those because they're, you can see that they're kind of fading and oxidized. I would try it tonight, but still gotta, I still got more videos to edit and stuff. So, so this one at Tahoe's done right. Ain't got no Cali lean going on. I would like to lift it, but I'm really happy with how it looks, how it's stanced right now, because if I lift it, it's going to be a lot slower, and I don't want it to be slow. I like my vehicles being fast, so, but I am going to be, if I can, find another Tahoe eventually, same year and everything, different color. I would really like a blue one, because I like the whole blue and black theme, and, uh, then I would make it like one without rust and I would make it like my street toy, you know, something that's fast. It doesn't have to be four wheel drive, you know, this rear wheel drive will work, um, you know, less weight or all wheel drive. They have the all wheel drive ones. I bet those have a lot of torque compared to mine. But um, if I can find one of those, then I do plan on lifting this one because of all the rust that's on it. It would make the perfect mud toy, but the way I drive my vehicles, you know, it's not really a mud toy right now. And there's really nowhere here in Springfield to go mudding anyways. But if I ever find another Tahoe, well, when I find another Tahoe, then uh, that is the plan. But I don't know if another Tahoe will come first or another car because I really want a fast car, you know, like something either some really fast sports car like a 350Z or something something fun or you know a muscle car i would prefer a muscle car yeah one day my, my dream car guys is a 69 camaro it's what i really really want so that is the goal one day and once i get it i will put it on the channel and we will make awesome videos with it so but anyways i think this is probably dry enough so let's go ahead and uh spray it again and uh then we will go ahead and wrap up the video guys Alright guys, I sprayed it on there. Let's look at the spot that I sprayed, which is, you can't even see where I sprayed. No difference, or was it right there? I think it was right there maybe. But yeah, I think they're looking almost the same now. Let's go ahead and ask Bay to come look. Bay, who says Bay? Do you say Bay?
try to find Bay. I don't know where Bay is. My little sister's dyeing her hair, and she doesn't even know that she's getting put into the vlog. Crazy. You, see, you guys see what I have to put up with? Someone should really come and save me. Holy zookie dog. Save me and the dog. Alright guys, well, that's it. You guys seen, uh, you know, no, that's not it. Just kidding. I will be back with you in just a second. As soon as this dries up and we have the car, um, I'll put back together. Then I will be back with you guys. I'm not going to make you watch that. Uh, thank you guys that have stayed to watch the video so far. And, uh, you seen which one's better. McGuire's definitely took the win on the headlight restoration between the toothpaste and the McGuire's. And, uh, I have to say it looks, looks amazing. So... Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you've had better results using toothpaste. Or tell me if there's a better type of toothpaste to use. And um, we'll try it again sometime in the future. Or maybe we'll, make, we'll even the odds by using a scrubby for the toothpaste. And uh, try that and put the same amount of coatings on it. But yeah guys, I, I think McGuire's took the win for sure. I mean they, you know, toothpaste isn't made for headlights. And McGuire's, they formulated their product especially for the headlights so it should work great and i trust mcguire's mcguire's is awesome and hope to one day get sponsored by them i'm super excited super stoked about the headlights turning out this great honestly i did not think they would turn out this great like i am super shocked super surprised and uh it's no wonder nobody likes my photos on instagram <laughs> just kidding i get i get likes guys i get likes but any of this all right guys well it's dry now they're both done they both look the same almost i think this one still looks a little bit better but you know this side has been beat up you know so but it still looks great like i mean look at that but if you get real close you can see like scratches and stuff in it but this whole headlight housing has to be replaced anyways um it's cracked on the back of here but yeah we'll do that another